Hi there, Roger Brooks here, and today I want to talk to you about dealing with cords and cables when you travel. As you know, it is a nightmare, and I've got a solution that I just love. This is a Tumi zip pouch. It comes in black, blue, uh, they're hard to find. You know the reason I like this orange is because I don't lose it. I always see it in a hotel room or, or in the back of an airplane seat. But I love this little case. Now, here's what I do. When I travel, I have all kinds of USB devices. I like an iPad or an iPhone and an Apple Watch. And, you know, sometimes I use Bose Sleep Buds, you know, to help me sleep at night. But what I like about this, it does four devices. It does, it'll do iPads as well as iPhones. It's great. And it has a little flip open outlet. So it's just that small. I love this. And so you can plug it in next to a nightstand. So I'm going to put that in this zip pouch. Then I do use an Apple Watch. And so there is this. The, the lightning cable goes in the back and it just stands up. And by the way, my watch is what I use for my alarm clock, for my clock, everything. And I've got a different video that talks about my favorite apps and that's on here. So there's how I charge my phone and be able to use it as an alarm clock. But then, you know, I've got, uh, I use an iPhone a lot in a car um, as Apple CarPlay because it's got navigation. I use Google Maps or Apple Maps, but then I have this. So this is a little bit longer. At night, I actually will use this to do an iPad. So if I want to read once I'm falling to sleep, I have lots of cable length. This is several feet long so that I can just have it charging while I'm using it and reading with it. And so then, of course, we have cameras, we have all kinds of devices. And so I've got an extra lightning cable right there. I've, you know, one for the iPhone, and here's another one right there. I've got a couple of those. I've got a USB mini, I've got USB micro, I've got USB to USB 3. I've got just about every cable I could possibly think of. And of course, what you have to do is figure out what gear you're bringing with you and then get the appropriate cables. Now, one thing that I just absolutely love with all of these is in the old days, I would go try to find rubber bands, but then I discovered these hair scrunchies or hair bungees. And you may be saying, Roger, where the heck would you ever know about these? Yeah, I don't use a lot of them, but I happen to have a wife and two daughters. And I would find these things laying around the house and they are fantastic. It's a couple of bucks and they are fantastic for wrapping cables and cords. They don't snap like rubber bands. They're easy and I like the bright colored ones so that you don't lose yours as like my daughters did. And so here's my Apple Watch charger and I even have an extra one right here. And then what I do is I do bring a couple of these little hair bungees right here with me. I put them all in here and here's what I really like. I just packed all the cables I need in this. And what I love is this fits in a channel in your suitcase. As you'll see here, you can see different things in the suitcase. So I might have this in one side, one of those channels. I might have my toothbrush in another side and then this in that side. And what happens is once I put those in the channels, I still have a flat surface and all my cables are there. But if you say, but Roger, I don't want my cables in my suitcase. Well, fine, put this in a backpack or a briefcase. It's thin, it's small, everything's there. It's not a nightmare to see through for security. They can see that it's just a bunch of cables and, and USB chargers. This is the way to go without having to deal with the cables and cords nightmare that plague us all in this digital age.